hello everybody this is Inglorious Mods here Austin Powers on TTG and today I'll be showing you guys how to mod on Modern Warfare 2 for Xbox 360 using your RGH and having a three part dot DLL folder or file alright now this is really simple to do it's not as hard it's the same thing as just putting on a regular dot D DLL and I'll tutorial on how to do that in a wee bit but this is this is really simple to do it's not that hard and what you will need is you will need the original uh, TU7 file, which you can find here on this post. And I'll get a link to the post. Just click on what you need, the uh, spoiler, and then open it up. The next post you'll want to go to is uh, this is the same post. The next post you'll want to go to is Syndicate's post, and it will be in the description as well. And uh, this is, you have a little bit of options here. You can, this is the uh, downloads for all the TU settings. And uh, here's the standard XP one from IHC James. It's the new timer one from Valve 1337 and all them. And I'm going to be using the three part one. And the three part one start with this file right here Daniel Mods, Daniel Me Mods. So I'm going to, I already downloaded his file. But you want to download it as well. It's so easy, just click on Media Fire that you're done. You can click on view and you can see exactly what's all in it. As you can see, it's a hell of a lot. And, um, yeah. So I'm going to minimize that. I got, these, I got them two files I told you about on my desktop. You can download any file from this post that's below Daniel Me Mods and follow the tutorial and it'll still be right. So, you're also going to need a USB device and, of course, an RGH and a retail console. And so, once you go to your, um, what's it called? Um, your USB device, and sorry about my voice, guys. I had a terrible, terrible cold today. And if the screen's lagging, it's because I'm rendering something in Sony Vegas right now. So, yeah. <laughs> Alright. <clears throat> you want to open up the working TU7 XP lobby, and you want to drag and drop everything inside that folder except for the IH.dil. Alright. So, as you can see here, I'm down like I'm dragging and dropping everything. But the ih.dll and that was awfully simple and um, now we're going to go ahead and um, move on to the JTAG alright guys now chat your JTAG or your RGH you just want to sign into your profile any profile will work. I'm gonna go ahead and sign into mine right now. Just click no. Uh, I have Modern Warfare 2 in. I took it out, so just wait a little bit. I, ha I had it in there because I was reinstalling my MW2. If you don't know how to install MW2 to your hard drive, it needs to be installed to your hard drive. If you don't know how to do it, I will make a tutorial on it. So just post below if you don't know how to do it. So it's so simple. And go to XEX menu. Go to your US. Go to your uh, HDD one, your hard drive. Go to your cache folder. And once you're in your cache folder, you want to go to USB and the last file there, the TU, the really, 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 really long one. That's the TU seven. And you want to go ahead and you want to copy that. So click Y on your controller and click A on copy. And go back to your HDD one. Whatever way you do it, you can click X and go to HDD one, or you can just go ahead and. Uh, hit the right on the d-pad then you just want to paste it as I just did and then you want to copy the next folder you want to, you want to go to the next uh, destination which is games then your NW2 then once you're in there you want to go back to your USB you want to copy the rest of the files over guys it's so simple to copy the files over I don't think I really need to talk this whole entire time about it uh, so just copy and paste it in there all these all these files um other than the TU, they will all go into the MW2 folder, so it's not that hard of a thing to do. Um, <coughs> and uh, yeah, so it's simple as that. Just I'm going ahead. I'm gonna paste it again. Copy HDD1, paste. It doesn't matter where you save your MW2 out as well. If you have it somewhere else, other than content and games, and it doesn't really matter. 
so you want to do this with all the files, and some reason the common FF is the longest one to do. <coughs> Make sure you do not have any IH.zil files. If you have an IH.zil file, it will not work. Alright, I repeat, it will not work for what we're doing. We're installing a three-part f a three-part .zil. If you have an IH.zil, it will not work. Again, do not do it. So. Once we're gonna copy one more time on the uh, comment underscore, I don't even know what that is. I think that's the prototype, and you wanna click paste. And let's go back to the computer to see what else we have to do today. Bye bye. I'll see you on the computer. Alrighty, now that we're back at the PC. You wanna take out your USB device from your JPEG and plug it into your PC so I'm just gonna have to go ahead and disconnect this so I'm just gonna exit out of that program disconnect my Dazzle plug in my USB device and we're gonna click on the file that we downloaded I'm gonna open up my USB first and delete all the files in here because I don't need any more <coughs> and so you wanna Open up the uh, three-part, a four-part file that you downloaded. Mine would be the Daniel Me mods. I'm gonna open it up. There's all these gonna be a README usually. Open up the README because it will help you a hell of a lot in doing this. <coughs> so here it tells you exactly what to do. Copy and paste the Xenon JTAG mods .zil in part one into your MW2 directory. Also copy and paste the zthought underscore np dot xex, which we're gonna do that right now. So I'm gonna open up my USB device, <coughs> where that may be. Computer, movable disk, and I'm gonna open up part one. Drag and drop the Xenon JTAGs mods into the USB, and the default underscore MP dot xex. All right, and now we're gonna head back onto the JTAG and see what we have to do. From there, and if I didn't say it the last time, guys, do not turn off your JTAG after you copy and paste the mods. Don't turn off your JTAG, leave it running. All right, so let's go back to the JTAG and see what we have to do next. All right, guys, now that we're on the JTAG or your RGH again, again, you're in XEX menu. Go to your USB device. We've got two files. You want to copy the default underscore MP, <coughs> excuse me. I'm gonna copy the uh, Xenon JTAG uh, .zil file and go to HDD1, go to games, go to your MW2 directory and paste it. You wanna do the same thing with the default underscore MP file. <coughs> copy it. Paste it. Simple as that. It's gonna ask you to overwrite it. Click confirm. Now click R3 <coughs> or the uh, left analog stick and then click on default underscore mp dot xex <laughs> once that has started you're gonna get black screen for a little bit and you wanna click ok part one part three you want to click on xbox live i mean system link don't click on xbox live click on your system link and then the next part is to wait All right. And get on your retail console, guys. So I started up MW2 on my retail console, as you can see there, uh, right there. Yes, um, I started it up, and uh, you can still see my JTAG in the bottom left. Start the game on your JTAG. Join the System Link game on your retail console. It's not hard at all to do. <coughs> so pick a class on your JTAG. Spawn. Then on your retail console, you are going to want to join that game that your JTAG just started. So go to System Link on your retail, click Join Game. Joining. Then as soon as your retail joins in and spawns, just press up on the D-pad. On your JTAG console, press up on the D-pad. Press up on the D-pad now, and then back out. On your JTAG, and then back out. On your retail console, as well. 
and it is as simple as that. We go back to the PC for more info. <clears throat> Alright guys, so back out on your JTAG and yeah, just back out on your JTAG and then redo that step with the part 2 and simple as that. Bye.